Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. So this morning I woke up, we didn't have a storm or anything, and I saw that this, this large portion of a tree had broken off. That in itself is not too unusual, except I was out here till about 10.30 at night. We were actually having a little campfire, hanging out, roasting some uh, hot dogs and marshmallows until well, about 10.30 or so. Went to bed, and uh, it may be hard to see, but our apple trees and peach trees and pear trees and stuff they're bearing a lot of fruit this year, so we have had a lot of issues with uh, critters, you know, skunks and raccoons, and to a great extent this year, bear. And the bear are quite damaging, and so when I came out here, I didn't think at all about bear. But then I came and I turned around here, and uh, this is a dwarf peach tree, and I saw that that branch there, the whole half of the little tree there broke off, and that's uh, not normal. And there's a bunch of half-eaten and three-quarter-eaten peaches on the ground, trampled and stomped and whatnot. So I started to think, you know, maybe this was, if it was raccoons, yeah, they could possibly break that. But I didn't know what to think. And then, and then I found this while I was mowing this morning. And that is bear scat. And I think of all the years that I've been up here, and I'm going to put my hand next to it just to give you an idea of the size of that. That is the biggest pile of bear scat I think I've seen up here and to give you some perspective i'm going to turn around and show you how close that is to the house right there so there it is and there's the house in fact that's our bedroom right there so that was about maybe 25 feet at most and they're just everywhere this year i don't know they, I, I haven't seen any cubs but i have seen so many bear during the daytime they'll come up when i'm up at the studio if i have the doors open they'll they'll be out there and they're kind of watching and they're not they're not really afraid of people, but this boy, this boy, I mean, that is, I can't even, I don't want to put my hand all the way down, but there, there you go. I'm getting ready to unfortunately mow over that, but it is bigger than my hand when it's expanded out and it's, it's a pile. <laughs> it is a tall pile, so, but it also shows you that uh, wildlife is everywhere when you have a homestead, especially with an orchard like this, this time of year, tons of deer, tons of critters. And it's just part of it, but this bear has added to my daily list of chores. That is, goes all the way out. That's actually over our little root cellar. You can kind of see the corner of it there. Which I've never made a video on that, I don't think. But uh, we store canned goods and stuff like that in that little cellar. So hopefully it didn't damage the roof. It doesn't look like it did because it's right at the edge there. But wow. Anyway, till next time, my friends. Take care.